Florida, one of the hottest fishing destinations in the world with over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline. Join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Bass to Billfish. Hey, thanks for watching this segment of Bass to Billfish. I'm Peter Miller, your host, and today I'm out here with Cap Hinckley and his brother Heath, and we're gonna head offshore Miami for a little grouper snapper action. Right now, we're stopping on some pilchards behind us. We're gonna try to get some live bait. We're gonna head offshore, and we're gonna try to catch some cigar minnows after that, and go to a couple of spots, a couple of reefs where we think there might be some grouper and snapper. We're gonna be dropping in about 150 to 180 feet with live bait, with about one to two pounds of weight, 30 foot liters, about 80 pound test circle hooks and what we're gonna do is just kind of set up drips hopefully we got a little bit of north current with that gold stream coming in a little bit the snappers will be more to the outside the groupers will be more on the middle we got a nice flat day yeah should be a beautiful ride out and hopefully they're hungry let's hit it all right well, we're pulling up to uh, try to catch a little bait over at this marker here these guys have their sabiki rigs set up five or six hooks on each one the Hinkley boys these, this is what they do every day and they're, they, they know where to catch the bait so Hopefully it'll pay off. We got a variety, so they're picky. We hopefully we have what they want. And that live well is brimming with bait. Gonna use some 90 circle hooks. We're gonna tie a little uni knot in here, a little loop, let the bait kind of swing freely, and the hook finds its mark a little bit better in the uh, corner of their mouths when you do the loop. And then you find something to pull on. Slide the knot down to about the size you want. Grab some pliers. Grab the tag end and pull simultaneously. And then you have a nice little, nice little loop knot allowing the hook to sway and find its mark in the fish. So that's the plan. And then we cut the, uh, we cut the tag line off as close as possible. Nice clean knot. Run it right through their nostrils like that. Perfect. So, Cap, there's no waiting time on this, huh? We're covering an area, so I started a little bit off of it. Yeah. We're drifting onto my numbers now, where, yeah. the, where we usually get the bites, but I've had bites inside, outside, yeah. north, south. So, like I said, you just kind of want to cover the area. Oh. You getting nervous? I just got a little nervous, a little flutter. Yeah. The bait will get nervous. These, with this braid, you can really feel the bait on there. So, what you're going to do is you'll feel the bait get nervous, nervous, and you'll be like, okay, okay, and then pretty soon it'll just go. Here you go, good him, boy. Get him. How we doing, Cap? We're doing perfect, man. If you want, you're gaining pretty good. You can put him in the belt now. He's coming up pretty good. Yeah. I don't even need to. All right, good. Keep him coming. Here's the weight. Come around this side, Cap. Little one. Little guy, huh? Yeah. Nice. Circle hook got him right in the corner. It's a little small black grouper. Hopefully next year, we'll come back. He'll be about 30 pounds. Nice. And then, then we'll keep him. Good job. Good job, Pete. Let's let him go. See if we can get another one. Oh. Wow. That's the Ooh. south side of it. Is this the sweet spot right here? This is it. Got the old boys going. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Go. Go. Maybe it's an AJ. You're heavier now, any? He? Yeah, it got a little heavier. <laughs> he got to be about 15 pounds all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Here comes the weight. Barracuda. Yeah. We'll take it. He's gone. All right. There's one down there that is. Just too big for words. <laughs> Unstoppable. He's owned me many, many times, and I got a, a score to settle. It can't feel too good to be a bait in the middle of this, uh, this school of fish down there. He is freaking out. Got it. Good? Yep. All right, I'm just going to let the boat drift there now. What do you think this is an AJ? That's what it's acting like. It's a workout, Cap. Yeah, it's a workout, man. <laughs> Here we are off the coast of Miami, about 250 feet, fighting an amberjack. What's great about these fish is that you can take people out here that have never caught anything or caught small fish their whole lives, and this will absolutely blow your mind. I got a color.
Nice fish, Cap. There he is. <sighs> nice fish, man. Nice healthy. Whew. How big, about 40? 35, 40 pound amberjack. How big did he feel, Pete? He felt <laughs> every bit of 40 pounds. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Good fish. See you later, head first. Good job, awesome, man. All right. <laughs> Get him. That's him, that's him. There you go, keep him coming. <clears throat> keep him coming, Pete. There you go. Come on, baby, get in there. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All hands on deck. God, I forgot what it was like to fish with good anglers, bro. There he is. Look at the size of that yellow jack. That is a big yellow jack. It was this is bubble. really good food, though, right? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Very large yellow jack. One of the better eating jacks we got down here. Nice, cat. Yeah, nice work. Good job. Let's see what we got. Yeah, boy. Porgy and Bess. A porgy? Jeez, man, you guys growing big around here, huh? <laughs> well, Ooh. we're getting the variety. Yeah, we got the full, we got the full uh, pack right now. Yeah, we got a couple jacks, amber jacks, yellow jacks, a nice porgy. A yeah. small grouper. One more spot, see if we can catch another species with this chicken rig. What, vermilion snappers? That's the plan. We catch a few porgies and also a couple yellow eyes. You never know what you're going to get. Sounds like Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah. At least a double, right? But he did put it on his hip, so that tells you something. It could be three. They are coming up pretty fast. They're going to be exploding to the surface. That's a double. It's a double. We got a double. Nice yellow eye there. Take that. Yeah. That was nice. Nice yellow eye. That's the kind of stuff we like to do. You know, there's a whole host of fish we can catch out here. So many species. And I call my buddy Cap here. He's the uh, captain on the cutting edge charter boat out of Key Biscayne. All in all, a good day. Nice action. Good variety. Good stuff for the dinner plate. Can't really complain. The bite was definitely on today. And we have a lot of fish in a cooler back there. So we're going to have a nice dinner. We rarely do that. We go out, we catch sailfish. We catch all kinds of billfish species. So it's nice to be able to come out here and do this. It's nice to switch it up. Different seasons, different times of the year, and do different things. Thanks a lot, Cap. Join the Bass to Billfish team and connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. The Bass to Billfish mobile app is here. Go to BassToBillfish.com to get your free app today. Available for iPhone and Android.